Good morning, Makale. This is my first video, and the subject is digital electronics. Digital electronics la first unit is fundamentals of digital, and second unit is combinational circuit. First is fundamentals, second unit is combinational circuit, and your third unit is synchronous circuit, and your fourth unit is asynchronous circuit, and your fifth unit is memory devices. Fundamentals jo bade what we are going to study in this fundamentals is. Number system first, and the next is min term, max term, SOP, POS, K map, Boolean algebra, logic gates, everything. And the second unit is combinational circuit. Actually, circuit abhi na the it is classified as combinational circuit and sequential circuit. And this sequential circuit is again classified as synchronous sequential. and asynchronous sequential circuit now what is the difference between this combinational and sequential circuit if it is combinational circuit our present output depends only on the present input if it is sequential circuit our present output depends on the present input as well as past history appo now present a kudukra input ku 1 1 is equal to 2 nu solluvom அது எதை மட்டும் டிபெண்ட் பண்ணி இருக்குது அப்படின்னா நான் இப்போ கொடுக்குற இன்புட் ஸோ வி டோன்ட் நீட் எனி மெமரி எலமெண்ட்ஸ் அது இஃப் இட் இஸ் சீக்வென்ஷியல் அப்படின்னா நான் இப்போ ப்ரெசண்டாக கொடுக்குற இன்புட்டு ப்ளஸ் ப்ரீவியஸ் பாஸ்ட் ஹிஸ்ட்ரியோட அவுட் புட்ஸ் செக் பண்ணோம் ஸோ வி நீட் எ மெமரி எலமெண்ட் பை டிஃபால்ட் அண்ட் தட் மெமரி எலமெண்ட் இஸ் ஃப்ளிப்ளாப்ஸ் லேச்சர்ஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட்டு திஸ் சீக்வென்ஷியல் சர்க்கியூட் இஸ் அகெயின் கிளாசிஃபைட் அஸ் சிங்க்ரனஸ் அசிங்க்ரனஸ் that is your third and fourth unit and your fifth unit is memory devices first unit is fundamentals of digital electronics sir and the first unit la your first topic is number system so number system abindrathu it is classified into four type you know different types of number system one is decimal next binary number system octal number system hexadecimal number system now what is the radix for this decimal radix abindrathu it is also called as base radix 10 and the base for this is 2 the base for this is 8 and the base for this is 16 now what are the decimal number system 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and so on poikite irukku so idu decimal number system ye base or radix 10 solrona 0 to 9 so illa adnala base or radix is said to be 10 now why we have radix or base as two for binary abina we know that binary abindrathu consists of only zeros and ones so zeros and ones matter irukumbod how can we represent this by using this binary abina it uses this 8 4 2 1 code what is this 8 4 2 1 code abina there are different types of codes idu ninga next padipinga So in the eight four two one code अच्छे बिया ना ना if it is decimal zero zero में बिया था ना zero 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 why it is zero 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 ना ये we don't have any numbers one ना if it is one zero 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 one so one का place लो मतलब we have to represent this one now if it is two zero zero one zero now if it is three अब three ना बिया ना zero zero one one because two plus one is three If it is four zero one zero zero, अपन five अभी ना zero one zero one. Now what is the binary equivalent for six zero one one zero? What is the binary equivalent for seven zero one one one? Because four plus two six six plus one is seven. Now what is the binary equivalent for eight? Eight is one zero 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 nine one. Zero zero one because eight plus one is nine. Then if it is ten, 
that is z1 0 1 0 up to and so 1 we can write up to 15 1 1 1 1 8 plus 4 12 13 14 15 now what happens after 15 abdina 16 so 1 in 1 1 into 2 2 2 2 2 4 4 2 8 8 2 16 16 2 32 32 is 64 64 2 128 and so on it keeps on going like this so this is called as 8421 code if you know this 8421 code very well then we can write we can use we can use this 8421 code on the digital electronics in the code there you have now we can solve all all problems so we can solve every problems in this next octal so octal order radix is 8 so how can we represent this octal 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so after 7 we have to represent this as 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 so after 17 20 21 and so on so 0 to 7 isn't it so 0 to 7 the number radix is represented as 8 or we can say this as base 8 so after this 20, 21, 22, 23, 27 and so on, 27, after this 27, 30 and so on. So this is octal number, octal representation of number. Next, hexadecimal. So hexadecimal 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. After 9, this decimal 10 will be represented as A, B, C, D, E. F. So 0 to F if it is decimal this A represents 10. This is 11, this is 12, this is 13, this is 14 and this is 15. So if it is decimal 0 to F we have 15. 0 to F is 16. That's why the radix or base is 16. So after this F how we have to write this? 10. 11, 12, and so on, 1, 9. So after 1, 9, 1, A, 1, B, 1, C, 1, D, 1, E, 1, F. So after 1, F, the number will be 20, 21, and so on, 29. So after that, 2, A, 2, B, 2, F, and so on. So this is the number system representations. So there are four types of number system. One is decimal, the radix for this is 10, next binary, Radix is 2 because it contains only 2 numbers 0, 1. Next one is octal, which as base as 8, 0 to 7. Next hexadecimal, radix or base is 16, 0 to F. So the decimal equivalent for A is 10, B is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is the number system, different types of number system. If you like this, share and subscribe. We will meet soon with different videos. Thank you.